because a lot of us looking for cures, a lot of us do, a lot of people, I'm not sure everyone, we do have some people who are just plain damn ignorant. And they don't want, they want to die. So let, like I said, let them make their maker or whatever. Most of people. But, most of the people. But there are some people who do want to be cured. And they do, they want to touch that raiment of Jesus, whatever. That garment. And so, I would, like, I, we, we, you're here now. I'm glad that I've been blessed by the ancestors and people to be here in your presence. Um, we want to learn now how to be cured. Not learn, we want the process to begin and that deterioration, because that means we all have deterioration. No one can look at one person. All of us, I'm including myself. Because I have a better body and I don't have no, my doctor says. Speaking of that, the question is now, what is the relation then between, since the discovery of medical science 265 years, um, what is the relation then between laboratory reports and the, the, the hematology, or pathology, or, or the blood breakdown? Is there any validity or goodness out of this allopathic western medicine the microscope and the relation of natural electric food and if you want to see a germ then they get a microscope and if you get a, a wound by a gunshot or an appendix has burst you need to be open real quick so there is place for the knife but under extreme conditions but as far as curing diseases there's only one way and that is the herbs because they are electrical. Their molecular structure is complete. They will assimilate. They are carbon based. So that's why in Egypt you see we had scaffolds and knives, but what was the food of Egypt, of the Kemetic civilization? Kemetic? Those people were hybrid, isn't it? Don't get angry. Be for real, stand up. Be for real. They were hybrids. That's why Cleopatra had to go all the way to Italy to find a man. She couldn't marry some black man. She could not do that because she wasn't black. She was a mixture of Persian, Greeks, and black. That's a hybrid person. So the Egyptians ate hybrid food. Didn't they eat ducks? Weren't they the one that really started to make of garlic? What could Egypt eat? And didn't Imhotep one, one of the first physicians that was given the credit as being, and attributed to as being, the first doctor, did he open the human body? Yes, he did. He opened the human body. If the human body was supposed to be open, it would have a zip on it. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Go right there. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah, okay. Dr. Savi, you're down in uh, Florida. Is that telephone number 305-252-1800? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry. That is the number in Miami where we have just recently moved from Puerto Rico. Our laboratory, our factory is there. Um, okay. And now, what's this number in Brooklyn? That's 718-722-9386. Yes, that's the city. Yes, that's another number they could get in contact with. Oh, okay. Thing that, that they need. Now, Reggie would like to ask you a question. Uh, there's another medical issue that um, I'd like to bring up that's a, a big concern in this country, and that's paralysis. Excuse me. Now, how is the process of... Uh, curing somebody with paralysis uh, go, as far as you're concerned. The African biomineral balance has addressed to that many, 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 many years ago, many, many times. El Salvador, my friend, Mr. Irvin Sanders, father-in-law, was in a wheelchair for 18 years. He's walking. Zadia Ife, from from New York, from a uh, university of what? What university up in, in uh, upstate New York? Uh, everyone knows about it. Buffalo? Mm -hmm. No, no, not Syracuse. The other one. Uh, yeah, well, Harvard. Harvard. No, another one. But Cornell. She's a Cornell, and she came to us, and she was in a wheelchair for 18 years. She's walking up, and many, 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 many more. Paralysis is what, when the central nervous system has allowed the muscles to contract, mm -hmm. or that the nervous system is not sending enough electricity to make them move. So what do we do? We perform the, again, the intracellular cleansing and applying the African biomineral balance to regenerate the body with electricity. And that could only be done the African way. Well, I wanted to ask you too, I'm having, you know, I was 20, 20 eyes. 
but now I don't see as well. I had to get my glasses sometimes just to see the whole thing. Yeah, it gets you clear this way. So, but I don't want to wear these. I want to cure that. Get it back to where it was. What do I do here? Well, I had an experience in Chicago with my own eyes. I don't have any problem with my eyes, but I thought I could read, I could see clear. But then one day, I decided to do urine therapy. All right. I used my compounds for 20 days. I fasted a month. I fasted for 29 days, nearly a month. And after my urine was as clear as water, I decided to drink it. I was drinking it twice a day, along with a gallon of water. At the end of four days, I was completely blind. Completely blind. I was blind that, that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I begin to see on Tuesday. I bought some blinders. I told my daughter, I said, go buy me some blinders, please, quick, because the sun is affecting my eyes. It's hurting me. She said, okay. She went and she got the blinders and I put it on my eyes. Oh, and I was happy. Oh, I was in blind. I was in darkness for five days. At the ending of the 50, on the sixth day, I was in Chicago. I was on uh, Stony Island, where we had the center. When, my, when I took the blinders off, I could read the finest letter across the street. Mm. So why was I blind? Because it was breaking down all of that inflammation. Oh, and the Coming down. Yeah. As it crossed the eyes, I had to go blind. Mm. You see? Mm. Oh, I see, yeah. So what you need is a total fast uh -huh. for a while, and then urine therapy. And then you continue on the diet, and your eyes going to come back immediately. Clear. Because that happened to Dr. Clark too, because, you know. Dr. Clark? Yeah. Well, you know. It's not too late for him, is it? It's not too late for anyone. Okay. But how much indebted is Dr. Clark to the Caucasian or to his mother, well, fathers? Do Dr. Clark is a beautiful brother. Yeah. And Dr. Clark need help. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Clark came to me. I said, Dr. Clark, you can't eat these things. Mm -hmm. And I love Dr. Clark. All of us do. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't? But Dr. Clark can't stop eating those things. So Dr. Clark is like the brother by, by the name of Chance the Williams. Mm. I went to see the brother. They told me he passed on. That's right. Yes, that's right. I went to see Dr. Chance the Williams. I said, my daughter is dying to meet you because you wrote the book, Destruction, Destruction of Black Civilization. Well, in my house, my children doesn't read books. None of them, including myself. I don't read books. I just don't. Never have and never will. But that doesn't mean that books are bad. All right? But my daughter has read your book. And she's happy to know that you live. And she's happy to know that we are here today to help you. Because you're going blind. Dr. Chancellor William told me that it was okay. That Dr. Cohen told him it was okay. He believed more in the Caucasian than he believed in his brother. So we just went home. Mm -hmm. So I don't know at what level. I have one minute more here because I have to be lecturing at 3 o'clock oh, and I have to check out of the hotel. Question. Dr. Sadie, we know how bad the food is out here. What can, I know, we know you, what food would you recommend that we go buy out if there's anything in the city, food, plant, or herb, and what diet should we be eating? Well, we can you just like a seven day? Just seven. Well, there is a phone number that you could call okay. that have the whole dietary program and would even help you to walk it through. The phone number is 718-629-5587. And you, get in you will get in touch with Betsy or Elizabeth Volant. She got all of the, the steps that you would take and the product that you would buy. Because when you walk in the supermarket, everything in there is artificial. So we have to select from that artificial world the least of the damaging foods. Can you repeat that number again, please? The phone number is 718-629-5587. And ask for? Elizabeth Volant. Okay. We have just a few more minutes on here. So okay. If you want to, <coughs> stop or, or add something in here, whatever you want. So talk about sickle cell, since a lot of folks have sickle cell. Sickle cell anemia? Yeah. Sickle cell anemia. What's happening in the body and what your tonics do? When I'm asked about sickle cell anemia, my brain go to one country. And that country is Ivory Coast. In Ivory Coast, 33% of the population has a high incidence. There's a high incidence of 
Sickle cell anemia, 33%. I talked to Dr. Uh, Landenberg, Pierre Landenberg, he's a Frenchman, about sickle cell anemia at Harvard University. He disregarded me. But I have cured sickle cell anemia, I told him. And I asked him, what is sickle cell anemia? He said he didn't know. I said, I thought so. I said, because uh, sickle cell anemia is when the blood plasma has broken down into a sickle. Bre broken down by what? Mucus have seed into the plasma, into the cell itself, and break it and disunited the cell. Removing the mucus, the cell unites again. And then, to maintain that level, you have to feed the patient large doses of iron phosphate, not ferrous oxide, iron phosphate. And I don't know any way in America that says that. But sickle cell is when the same mucus that breaks down the cells in the nasal passage that cause sinusitis has now broken down the blood plasma and break it into a sickle. And now we have to replace the mineral that has been lost. And because iron phosphate, iron incidentally, is the only, but the only magnetic mineral in the planet. Being magnetic, it pulls other minerals to it. So therefore, when you take iron, you take all others proportional balance. So when you take this iron, they begin to see results in less than five minutes. Malt liquor, what damage is that doing to, we have a lot of brothers who drink in 40s and you know, that we are just being sold this particular drink. What is happening in the body? What is happening to the mind when you consume that? The liver is damaged. Malt liquor is made with what? Barley. I know they use also another substance in the yeast. And isn't yeast the seat for infection? They call it what? Chlamydia? Mm. Yeast mm. is the bed for disease. But again, since we have not had scientists, researchers, as they are called, to come forth with the proper research or study, we fall short. We're vulnerable. We are vulnerable. I mean, I just came to New York 10 years ago, and they were drinking carrot juice. Carrot juice? Well, that tells me something. And they're eating beans in the name of health. That tells me that something is wrong. So therefore, we have to stop it. The brother that came from D.C., there was a war on AIDS. And I was taken to, to uh, Manhattan. War on AIDS! Well, I had the bomb. I went. Dr. Barbara Justice and Dr. Prince disregarded me. And then they said, then they said, Dr. Aleem is coming from Washington. I said, the Muslim brother, they said, yes. I said, he's coming with a very special message. He said, yes. What is he coming to tell us? That AIDS kill black people. I said, we needed to hear that from Dr. Aleem. Because we were totally oblivious to that fact. But the question I'm going to ask about Dr. Aleem, is he a Muslim? They said, yes. Well, what does a Muslim that follows Allah doing? practicing the medicine of the bliss that they call the devil. There is a contradiction. Well, well, hello. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sadie, what can we do as uh, folks here in this country who are concerned that have some semblance of consciousness? What can we do here to help you get the message across to the people who need to know, the people who need this kind of information and cure? What can we do here? To help you, yeah. to uh, you know, to expound uh, the greatness of the medicine that you're giving to us. When the Japanese scientist said that he worked with the immune system, all of Japan got behind him. He didn't ask them; they got behind him, and he got the Nobel Peace Prize for only working with the immune system. We don't work with the immune system; we cleanse the immune system. When the Jews in Israel needed help. They didn't come asking help us. They send the help. So you ask me, what could I say to the black race of America that would help the Usha research? I don't know. If they help me, fine. If they don't help me, still fine. I don't know. All donations. That's on you. That's on the black populace. That's not on us. We did our job.
Uh, anybody got another question? Yeah. Excuse me. I'd like to ask Dr. Savi um, about cancer. Can you explain how cancer um, gets started in the body? The same way a common cold started. In any part of the body, any way cancer appears, it means that there is a condition that has manifested over and above because it has been progressively getting worse unattended or unknowing. There's no difference with cancer and a common cold. The mucus in the nose stayed a long time. They call it sinusitis. And after they begin to eat the cells, they call it cancer. And that's whether in the reproductive organ, in the breast, in the head, in the brain, in the eye, wherever. It's all mucus. Um, you've heard of Dr. Tory, Dr. Tory from Chicago. Uh, well, he teaches about uh, the worms in the body, how they got there, what cysts is made of because he says that the worms have to do do in your body and that's where you get these cysts and things like that. You heard of that? I disagree with that. A cyst, when you open a cyst, inside of the cyst, all you find is... That's all you find. Oh, but I can't, I, I, I can't challenge anyone or anything, but I do know this, that Dr. Torrey has compounds that I know came from the Caucasian books. So in other words, Donald Torrey, the from Los Angeles, California, yeah. that's who groomed him. Right. The white boys groomed him. So in other words, you're saying that that's a protection. What's a protection? When, when the cyst, because you said it's got carbon in it. No, calcium carbonate, hardened. The mucus has hardened, and now it is growing. That's where you get these cysts and things like that. You heard it? I heard of that. I disagree with that. A cyst, when you open a cyst, inside of the cyst, all you find is calcium carbonate. That's all you find. Oh, but I can't, agree, I, I, I can't challenge anyone or anything, but I do know this, that Dr. Torrey has compounds that I know came from the Caucasian books. So in other words... Donald Torrey. The from Los Angeles, California. Yeah. That's who groomed him. Right. The white boys groomed him. So in other words, you're saying that that's a protection. What's a protection? When, when the cyst, because you said it's got carbon in it. No, calcium carbonate. Hardened. The mucus has hardened. And now it is growing. Uh -huh. And then it's going to burst uh -huh. and eat you up. So your tonics do what? My tonics, what, what, our tonics, the Usha tonics, the el electric food. To that, to this. We reduce it. Didn't you see at Usha Research I when did. the lady passed the tumor? I, I did. And it was in the refrigerator? I was there. Thank you very much. She brought it in. She brought it in a bottle. What? And we put it in the freezer at tumor. This size. I saw it. How'd they come out? It passed out of her. That's the only way it's supposed to come out. Well, well. So you're, you step. You're right, our bodies don't have zippers, so any cleansing is supposed to come out through the regular holes, the nose, the mouth, the... Like Taurus Henderson. Taurus Henderson, Chicago, Illinois, 1990. She had a tumor in her brain. And this is recorded on Channel 21, on Channel 19, in Chicago, by Brother Rashid. She passed a tumor through her nose. From her brain. Not only her. This, this, this uh, Caucasian male from uh, her daughter, his daughter named Robin Bennett called me and said, my father have a tumor in his brain, a blood clot on his brain. I said, yes. How long would it take you to take it off? I said, how long would it, you allow me? She said, I gave you a month. I said, what about 24 hours? She said, you're crazy. I said, of course. But it came up in 24 hours. And she wrote me a letter and I have that letter. How does know? More than black people come to you. And right now, in terms of Honduras, who are the folks who are coming to you? Mexicans, Norwegians, South African whites. I don't expect any black from South Africa to come. South African whites, Chileans, Colombians, American, Latin Americans, America, not black America. Black America uh, down there now is our most beloved Professor George Simmons, and we have this brother from D.C. named Anika. But the general population of Osha are Latinos, 
and your beans. Um, I would like to come down to the country and do a research or uh, because we're called African Information Communications and uh, we anything that concerns our people no matter what it is we and health should be very important so I'd like to come down and, and see you in your environment so to speak Gladys Rodriguez did Who? Gladys Rodriguez Gladys Rodriguez is a Latin American from Santo Domingo okay. this woman saw me on Univision, which is the Latin American International Network. Isn't that something the Latinos put me in the International Network? Mm -hmm. Gladys saw it, and the very next day she went down to Honduras. In fact, she, she had the counsel from Honduras in trouble, had him fired, because she was giving her a hard time. She went down to Honduras, got her compound, came back, and saw what she was about. She, she was in the village, no question asked. Mm -hmm. That's Latino. But an American black person, have a problem going to Honduras. Well, I don't have a problem. No, well, most do. I mean, that's why I'm asking you. Yeah. They ask about, yeah. is it possible? What's going to happen? Where am I going? And, uh, hold it now. But they can, run, they can run to Kentucky Fried, White Castle. <laughs> sure, but that's not our fault. Theater, and everywhere else. But South, America, South African go all the way from Africa and Norwegians from Oslo. Nina went down there with her tumors and her tumor was passed. And she, not, not only that, when she got back to Norway, the doctor said, the doctor in Honduras did remove your tumors, but there's something else that he removed. Your infantile diabetic condition is gone, too. You didn't know that? Well, I didn't tell him I had diabetes. That is also cured. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy that you did this interview, and I hope that in the future that there will be more participation of black people in this part of the